Good evening and welcome to our time of evening prayer on Ascension Day. I hope you've had a chance to spend some time looking upwards to God, praying and remembering what happened on this special day. I pray you've had a lovely day. The weather's been fantastic. Um, but let's start our time of prayer by just settling down, just taking a moment to recognise where we are and what we're about to do. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth. To you be glory and praise forever. From the darkness of death, you have raised your Christ to the right hand of your majesty on high. The pioneer of our faith, has his passion accomplished, has opened for us the way to heaven and sends on us the promised spirit. May we be ready to follow the way and so be brought to the glory of his presence where songs of triumph forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 8. O Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what is man, that you should be mindful of him, the son of man, that you should seek him out? You have made him little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We bless you, Master of the heavens, for the wonderful order which enfolds this world. Grant that your whole creation may find fulfilment in the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Our reading seem to come from Mark. Still later, as the eleven were eating supper, he appeared and took them to task most severely for their stubborn unbelief, refusing to believe those who had seen him raised up. Then he said, go into the world, go everywhere and announce the message of God's good news to one and all. Whoever believes and is baptised is saved. Whoever refuses to believe is damned. These are some of the signs that will accompany believers. They will throw out demons in my name. They will speak in new tongues. They will take snakes in their hands. They will drink poison and not be hurt. They will lay hands on the sick and make them well. Then the master Jesus, after briefing them, was taken up to heaven. And he sat down beside God in the place of honour. And the disciples went out everywhere, preaching. The master's working right with them validating the message with indisputable evidence. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. God has gone up with a merry noise. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Tell out his salvation from day to day. He has led captivity captive and given gifts to his people. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Christ was believed in throughout the, whole, the world and taken up in glory. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. 
my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their fronts and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord, as Jesus was lifted to glory, to sit at your side, help us to focus that you call us to that heavenly realm, that whatever we face in this, in this life, you want us to be with you at your side in heaven. Heavenly Father, you know our thoughts and our hearts, our minds. You know the joys and the sadness that is in us. So we take a moment now to lift our personal prayers to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And Father, we pray for your creation, that your hand is in all this world, in this universe. You threw the stars into the sky. You know the hairs on our head. You created this entire world for us. Lord, help us to appreciate it. Help us to care for it. I pray that during this, locked up, this lockdown time, we've learned to appreciate nature. We've had time to be still and to listen to the bird song, to see the birds flying in the air, the insects on the floor. Lord, I pray that we can appreciate and be kinder towards nature as we move forward, that we can change our ways to care for your creation. Lord, inspire us. Fill us with ideas on how to do this. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, Jesus calls us to go out to spread the good news of your message. Help us to do that, Lord. Help us to be brave, to speak to people. To tell our story of how you are close by how you care about each of us, how you have made a difference in our lives. Help us to tell that story with passion. Help us to be brave, Lord, to preach your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for all our emergency services, all those working on the front line, we thank you for them, Lord. Thank you for the hard work that they put in day after day, the risk that they take on our behalf. We pray for their safety, for wisdom in their leadership, to make wise decisions. I pray as lockdown is eased, that people don't take advantage, people still recognise there's something out there that we need to be careful, that they don't abuse the... the the restrictions being lifted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the council as well, Lord, that they are wise in what they do.
grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend with him continually and with him continually dwell who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour has taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Pray you have a pleasant evening and that you clap well for the NHS and all the carers out there this evening. Take care.